Hi everybody, it's your old pal Chuck, and I'm back with another review. And today, we're taking a look at, from the Pursuit of Cobra line, this is Skydive. Now there's a little bit of history behind this figure. Uh, originally, um, this figure from the neck down was shown at Jocon 2009 as Ripcord. Uh, complete with a Marlon Wayne style head based on the Rise of Cobra universe. I hope I got that actor's name right. Um, and in a different color scheme because it was going to be part of the desert campaign instead of the jungle campaign. Well, as we all know, Hasbro uh, decided to adjust the Pursuit of Cobra line and distance itself from the uh, Rise of Cobra universe, saving a little bit of money and paramount royalties by the way but uh quite a few of the figures as they were originally attended made it out through uh lunchtime specials on the ebay market um so you can actually get a road a uh, ripcord um that looks like this with the actor's likeness head and in a different color scheme i think there was also a duke with the channing tatum head and i know there was a zartan with the uh, Arnold Voslo, uh, because I actually uh, have that one, uh, but it's a nice little bit of history, but they've changed it to Skydive, uh, the re leader of Sky Patrol, and it's kind of cool. Now let me just start off right away, after that little uh, history uh, lesson, that um, this figure is going to fo fall into the same category as the Cobra Paraviper. Great looking figure. Really nice sculpted detail, but a uh, hindered articulation. As you can see right off the bat, um, its main accessory is the giant flight pack. Um, now, the missiles here on the side, as well as the th uh, thrusters here on the back, all come attached, loose in packaging. The missiles plug into the backpack while these little thrusters or exhausts or whatever they are uh, actually peg into the shoulders of the web gear. Um, and there is like a nice little gimmick where if you press the button right there on the figure, the wings will spread out. Um, nice little touch. Uh, now this whole web gear is removable. It unpegs from the side and under the legs and lifts off. The hoses detach from the helmet basically all that's underneath the helmet is um, <clears throat> this covered face which we've seen before I think it's been used with a uh, flash and a couple other troopers but that's that and the helmet is just that simple soft goods clear plastic that you can just slide on and off. I like I like you just saw now. I do recommend uh, removing the hoses. It does make it a little bit easier. But as you can see, um, armored up like this, it is uh, rather difficult to move. I mean, the figure does have the universal shoulders, 90 degree bend at the elbow, swivel at the wrist, universal hips, but they are limited by those straps, double jointed knees, and your standard ankle articulation. One thing I did find interesting is, I first I thought my figure was uh, somewhat damaged. Uh, the holster is actually molded off, uh, off an, an angle, and I think that's actually um, goes with the overall contour and sculpt of the figure. Uh, the pistol is removable, and it does hold in there quite nicely. And what's really great is the. Um, figure holds it quite tightly, which is kind of good. So you, so flying around, if the missiles aren't enough, he can swoop in and basically uh, pick some people off with a handgun. Um, you know, looking at the details, and you know, I do want to go ahead and show off a lot of these details. You can see a lot of the molded sculpting. Now underneath the figure, you can see it here in the arms, they do have reactive armor body. So that is kind of cool and it does work in. Now personally, I think because you're pegging these uh, exhausts in, this part of the web gear is actually meant to be um, 
part of the jet pack because why would anyone wear exhaust packs on their uniform you know but um that all fits in um these pouches here very secure on the original version of this figure as ripcord um the pouches uh fell off a lot from what i've heard and the um straps here at the leg didn't stay in but it's all nice molded detail let me go ahead and remove the backpack here so you can see you know, and by the way, the backpack does go in and out very nicely. And I think that's due to this part being a little firmer plastic than um, traditional web gear. And it helps, you know, peg it in. I think like, I really think actually you're not even pegging it into the figure. You're pegging this into that hole. So, um, yeah, we'll pause and I'll come back with my final thoughts. Skydive was one of these unique characters to the Pursuit of Cobra line. It was a throwback to a somewhat obscure um, subline from the real American hero days that was brought forward with the modern military aesthetic that uh, Pursuit of Cobra was going for. Um, while there's that bit of a futuristic touch with the jetpack, overall, I mean, this is a what a halo jumper might look like nowadays interesting to note that um as i mentioned in my shadow tracker review uh skydive is sort of like the cross cell with him but you know they they both mention each other in their bio cards and it's part of the story that he flies into a jungle cobra base and you know he doesn't realize that uh shadow tracker is after him and hunting him down so um, I don't think a couple rockets and a small handgun are going to be enough for Shadow Tracker, so uh, I guess that's why we haven't seen Skydive in the lines since uh, Pursuit of Cobra. <laughs> um, I originally picked this figure up at retail. Uh, your best bet now is the secondary market, eBay, Amazon. eBay, you might even be able to find some of the uh, original Ripcord versions. Um, if you like a nice-looking figure with the great sculpted detail that this has, um, then pick it up. But if you're looking for something that's functional as well as looking nice, I think you're going to be disappointed because the articulation is hindered by uh, this uh, web gear. And, uh, you, know, you know, one thing to note is they even had the little uh, death grips on his uh, ankles, which... You know, I, you know, as we know, that those are for dragging bodies out very easily. But, yeah, I mean, there's a lot going on, but not a lot of functionality. This is your old Pelchuk for Skydive. We'll see you next time.